Oh, well, hello there, friends and family. So good to see you again. Over here in my neck of the woods, you know, Mr. Tom's neighborhood. Yeah, our little piece of paradise in the deep south of Alabama. But you caught me out here doing a round, checking on things, seeing how our garden plantings are doing. And we're about to check on something that I spied just a little bit earlier that I thought I'd share with you. Because once you see it, it's rather too late. Yeah, it's sort of like sudden death. You go to bed one night, after you make your final rounds of your gardens, everything looks wonderful. You get back up the next morning, start the coffee, head on out, feed the kitties, do a preliminary look, and what have you found? Yep, sudden death, as if it happened overnight. But actually, it took over a week, but we didn't know. Let me show you what we're talking about, so you'll know too. So yeah, you know, one of the first plantings we check as far as veggies is of course our northeast cucumber planting where the kitty crews have an experiment going on. You know, they planted two of the Bonnie cucumbers heirloom straight eight. And they planted two of the Bonnie cucumbers burpless bush hybrids. Isn't that right, Cleo? Yep. Cleo says, yep, that's right. Of course, now Spooky's here with me, too. Yep, coming to check, see what we're doing over here at their experiment. An experiment that has had a tragedy. And if you'll remember, we had to spray these plants, the heirloom, for powdery mildew. And we've since trimmed those leaves that were so badly yellowed. And it does appear that we may have powdery mildew coming back. But here again, that's not what we're talking about today. You'll notice right here something. You see those brown leaves? You see them there? Now let's follow them all the way up the vine. All the way. And as we get further up, they're not so brown, but they're still as wilted. And you can follow them all the way up till you finally get as high as you can go. And you'll see they're all starting to go limp and waste away. Now you might think, well, that's the sunshine beating down on them, like I've showed you before. But notice the rest of the leaves aren't showing any sign of wilting from what is now the blazing sun that's now top the pines. What I am showing you, and if we follow this all the way back down, it's not one leaf, it's a, it's a whole vine, and if, right here's the vine. See the leaf? Follow it all the way down, we can follow it all the way down to the ground. Yep, to where we planted it nearly two months ago. And it is one of the burpless bush hybrids. But that's not why it's all of a sudden died. What's happening to it here about a week ago, or a little more, maybe two, I started noticing a couple of insects that are extremely bad for cucumbers of any type. One is the striped cucumber beetle. And I'll show you the little critter here in a moment. The other one is the spotted cucumber beetle. Many people confuse this beetle, as you will see, to a ladybug, but it's the whole wrong color. The spotted cucumber beetle has black spots, a black head, and a yellow body. That is not a ladybug. But what happens is, is these two beetles, they enjoy your cucumbers. They feed on them and they'll suck the juices from the leaves and the stems and even the fruits. But in doing so, they inject a bacterium and that bacterium causes bacterial wilt. And that's what you're seeing here. You're seeing the effects of the striped cucumber beetle, the spotted cucumber beetle, as shown here,
and what they'll do to your cucumbers. And all they got to do is feast on one leaf. Now, if you're quick and see that leaf starting to wilt, maybe, just maybe, you can save the plant. But as you can see, I had no such luck. In fact, I actually pruned a leaf right down here to do just that. But you can see it was still too late. The bacterium wilt had already infected the vascular system of the plant. And that's pretty much like your veins and arteries, your vascular system. And therefore the bacterium was transferred all the way up. As you can see, it just continues all the way up to the very end of the vine where it's going to die. There's the end. It's not dead yet, but it's well on its way. So yeah, oh there's a nice looking cucumber, thankfully it's on the other bonnie bush hybrid. So what's going to happen? What can we do? Can we save the plant? Can we make it anew? No, it's toast. What we can do is we'll cut it out at ground level. Now the fact that this plant has bacteria wilt will it infect my other cucumbers? No. Now, the cucumber beetles, both striped and spotted, can, and now here's the sad part, here's the leaf right here on my other Bonnie Best Hybrid, Bush Hybrid. You can see it's already wilting, and none of the others are. Another cucumber beetle. It's probably jumped over here. And this here process that you're seeing take place right here, it didn't happen today or yesterday. It happened a week or more ago. You see, because I've already sprayed for the cucumber beetles last week, and not a one is left. But the damage they've done from feasting upon the leaves and stems of my cucumber plants is now quite evident. So it does look like I'll lose this one as well. In fact, I'm thinking I could lose both of these burpless bush hybrids and possibly the heirloom straight eight too. But I know I saw both the striped and spotted beetles here and I saw them up there, where we also have two more of the Bonnie Burpless Bush Hybrids planted. And I've already trimmed, oh, two or three leaves, maybe four, that were suddenly wilting yesterday off of those plants up there. Did I get them in time? Well, only time will tell. We'll have to see. But I wanted to share this with you so you would know what to do when you see it and what it is. It's not the heat. It's not a fungus among us. It's not a virus. It's bacteria wilt. What can you do? Well, what you can do is try to prevent the cucumber beetles from finding your plants. That can be done by companion planting. Oh, you can try different types of aromatic spray you know what I mean by that is spraying them with oh a mixture of onion powder garlic powder rosemary basil or what have you anything to pull the beetles into thinking your cucumber plants are something other than what they are does it always work honestly no is it worth the try yeah it is I chose to spray them with a pesticide. I used a seven spray. Yep, you know, I'm only as organic as I can be. I didn't want to lose all my planting of cucumbers. But it does appear. And see, this leaf was not wilted yesterday. 
and now it is. And you can clearly see the other leaves are not wilting on that vine. So yep, this one's vine's infected too. Yep, I bet on it. We're gonna lose it too. They lose the whole planting. But in all honesty, I've been eating a pile of cucumbers and I think I got eight in the house and many more to pick today. When I say many more, let me show you before we and you go away <laughs> for today because I've got to get working. Yep, I gave some of these away to a neighbor yesterday. But look up under here. See this one? See those two? See that fourth one? Oh, there's a fifth one. There's two more laying on the ground. Oh, there's one down there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! I gotta find some more neighbors. See if they're hungry too. I picked over here. Nope, oh, there's one right back there. I don't know if you can see them. Right back there. Oh, so there's a pile more. Now I don't see no wilting leaves today. And I mean, when the sun hits on them, blazing sun, they all wilt. That's different. As you can see over there, the sun is yet to hit that leaf. It's wilting. It's wilting while the others are not. But here I'm seeing some remnants. Look at this one. Yep, and you can see it. So I gotta run and get some scissors. Do some trimming, maybe. By doing my pruning religiously, I might be able to save this one. Here's another one. Where you can clearly see half the leaf is starting to succumb to the bacteria wilt. We'll do what we can. Yeah, and if we lose them, we'll replant again. Now that we've exterminated the cucumber beetles. Now I've still got the planting over here in the old compost pile. And I haven't seen any wilting leaves over here except during the heat of day. So maybe the cucumber beetles just couldn't find them hidden away in the tomatoes, the squash, and the onions too. Yep, currently this planting, which I didn't plant, all looks just fine. And it's producing too. I've also got two more plants, also volunteers, from an old compost pile up in the south side garden bed. Yeah, either way, I think we'll continue to have more cucumbers than what we'll need. See, looking right down there. There's two more. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Hmm, those are really nice looking ones too. Oh, there's another one. So, no fear, no doubt. Oh, Mr. Tom's gonna have plenty of cucumbers, no doubt. Uh, but be on the lookout for the striped and spotted cucumber beetles. They are not your friends. And now you see the aftermath of what they do when they're feasting on your cucumbers. As they do. So yeah, friend and family, I gotta go grab some pruners and I gotta get to pruning over here on this uh, cucumber plant. And then, what we got going on for today, we gotta get mowing. You may have heard in the background. Yep, the city's mowing the cemetery on this Tuesday too. 25th of July, 2023. And that's what I got to do too. Get to mowing. 
before it gets away from me again, as it sometimes does. So hey, until the next time you happen over to the neighborhood and to the next video, you know us all. Kid Crew. Cleo, Spooky, Speedy. Sometimes he's clear. And Gracie too. See you on that next video. Y'all take care. Stay safe. And God bless you all. As you bless those in your lives. Goodbye for now. Ooh, it's a beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky. Which means it's going to be a hot one. We got to get rolling on and get her done. Oh, I see the crepe myrtles in bloom. I wouldn't have even know that. Sometimes you just got to look up to see the beauty that abounds. Oh yeah, the yellow flowers have popped back up again. Boy, we got to get that mower going before it rains again. We surely do. Whew, I got to put y'all up and get to working. That's for sure. Yep, see the little yellow fake dandelions? What they call false dandelions? They just keep popping up all year long. Yeah, especially if you don't mow the grass in a timely manner. Yep, which, you know, we're bad not to. <laughs> oh, I still got to finish watering, too. Man, I got a lot to do. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is looking fine. Well, so far this cucumber plant may have been saved. And it's got plenty of cucumbers coming too. Yeah, cucumbers are gonna be on the diet for quite some time, I'm thinking. Even still, if the cucumber beetles don't have their way, Get on in, grab the mower keys, and get it going. Later, all.